So we come to the fifth part of the um, super middleway um, history. So here we go. So October the 14th, 2006, Michael Kessler wins in a third round by KO against Marcus Bayer in Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, that was a WBC and WBA unification fight. And then March the 27th, 2007, Mikael Kessler from Denmark wins on points over 12 rounds against Librado Andrade from Mexico. That was in Copenhagen, Denmark. And then the IBF title now. August the 24th, 2002, Sven Otka wins in the ninth round, Graffy stops the fight against Rudy Markersen from Denmark on points over 12 rounds. Then Otka then unifies the IBF and WBA titles and retires in 2004. So October the 2nd 2004, Jeff Lacey wins in the 8th round, referee stops the fight against Seed Van Der Poel from Canada. So who's a tie? But I'm a Canadian here. So that was in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada. Uh, that was the vacant title. And then December the 4th, 2004. Jeff Lacey wins and points over 12 rounds against Omar Shika from the US. That's in Las Vegas. Omar Shika. That's over 12 rounds on points in Las Vegas. Um, March the 5th, 2005, Jeff Lacey wins in his 7th round against Ruben, Ruben Williams from the US. In 7 rounds, referee stops the fight in Las Vegas, Nevada. August the 9th, 2005, Jeff Lacey wins in his 7th round against Robin Reed by retirement. Robin Reed, England, that was in Tampa. And then... November the 5th, 2005, Jeff Lacey wins in the second round by KO against Scott Pembleton from the US in State Line, Nevada. March the 3rd, 2007, Alejandro Barrio <laughs> From Colombia wins in the third round, referee stops the fight against Robert Stieglitz from Germany. That was in Rockstock, Germany. Then August the 19th, 2007, Lucien Butte from Canada wins the 11th round, referee stops the fight against Alejandro Barrio again in Montreal, Canada. And in February 29th, 2008, Lucien Butte wins in the 10th round again uh, by referee stopping the fight against William Joppy from the US in Montreal, Canada. Then October the 24th, 2008, Lucien Butte wins on points over 12 rounds against Librado Lib Andrade from Mexico in Montreal, Canada. And then March the 13th, 2009, Lucien Butte beats Fulgencio Zuniga from Colombia in Montreal, Canada. Then November the 28th, 2009, Lucien Butte 
wins by KO in a fourth round against Liberado Andrade from Mexico in Montreal, Canada. And then April the 17th, 2010, Lucien Butte wins in the third round. Referee stops the fight against Edison Miranda. That's in Montreal, Canada. Then October the 15th, 2010, Lucien Butte wins in the ninth round by KO against Jesse Brinkley in Montreal, Canada. Then March the 19th, 2011, Lucien Butte wins in the 10th round. Referee stops the fight against Brian McGee from Ireland uh, in Montreal, Canada. And then July the 9th, 2011, Lucien Butte wins in the 4th round by KO against Jean Paul Mendy from France in Bucharest, Romania. In November the 5th, 2011, Lucien Butte wins in points over 12 rounds against Glenn Johnson in Quebec, Canada. Then March the 26th, 2012, Carl Frotch wins in the 5th round against Lucien Butte in Nottingham, England. Then November the 17th, 2012, Carl Frotch wins in the third round by KO against Yousef Mack from the United States. That was in Nottingham, England. Lovely. So we've got the IBF and WBO titles. We got um, yeah together. I remember seeing this fight, a class good one by Kawasaki, one of one of his best fights. <laughs> March the 4th, 2006, Joseph Kalzaki wins in the 12th round against Jeff Left Hook Lacey in the US, Manchester, England. Again, he, yeah. It's on points. Did he win on points? It says that, yeah. I think he did in the end, didn't he? Yeah. It's, for some reason, I thought he stopped him, but yeah. 12 rounds, so yeah. Jeff left hook Lacey. I know he took a lot of shots unanswered. But um, yeah, must have gone the distance. So October the 14th, 2006, Jeff, um, sorry, Joe Kawasaki wins on points against Saki Obika from Cameroon in Manchester, England. And then December 2006, Joe Kawasaki was stripped of his IBF title in December 2006. So you've got the WBC, WBA and WBO titles. Um, November the 3rd, 2007, Joseph Kalzaki wins in points over 12 rounds against Mikhail Kessler in Cardiff, Wales. <laughs> in the WBC title, Joe Kalzaki moved up to light, the light heavyweight division and on December the 6th, we've got two, uh, sorry, December the 6th, 2008, Carl Frotch wins on points over 12 rounds against Jean Pascal in Nottingham, England. And then April the 25th, 2009, Carl Frotch wins in the 12th round, Reverage stops the fight. Jermaine Taylor of the US, in the US, man in Mashantucket. And in October the 17th, 2009, Carl Frotch wins on points over 12 rounds against Andre Durrell from the US in Nottingham, England. So Mikhail Kessler beats Carl Frotch over 12 rounds on points. That was in Herning. So yeah, 24th of April, I've missed that. 24th of April, 2010, Mikhail Kessler wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Carl Frotch in Hernin, Denmark. Again, he, Carl Frotch beat Andrew Durrell over points. I've just gone through that in Nottingham. And then Kessler beats Frotch in Denmark. But Kessler suffered an elbow injury and vacated the title. So Frotch fights again for the vacant title. November the 27th, 2010, Carl Frotch wins on points over 12 rounds against Arthur Abraham. That was in Helsinki, Finland. Helsinki, Finland. 
and that was for the vacant title. So, June the 4th, 2011, Carl Frotch wins on points over 12 rounds against Glenn Johnson, Atlantic City, New Jersey. And then Joe Kawasaki moved up to light heavyweight division. And there you go from here. An adjustment. So yeah, we go from here now. And again, um, we start on February 27th, 2008. Anti Mundine wins and points over 12 rounds against Nadia, Nadia Ham. Hamden from Australia in Sydney, Australia. Then May the 28th, 2008, Anthony Mundine wins on points over 12 rounds against Sam Solomon from Australia in Melbourne, Australia. M Mundine then, Anthony Mundine rel relinquishes the title and moved down to middleweight. Then June 21st, 2008, Mikhail Kessler wins in the 12th rounds against Dimitri Sartizon from Germany in a 12th round by KO in Copenhagen, Denmark. In October 25th, 2008, Mikkel Kessler wins in points over 12... Um, sorry, Mikkel... Sorry, start again. October 25th, 2008, Mikkel Kessler wins by KO in the third round against Danilo Hasler from Germany in Oldenburg, Germany. And then September the 12th, 2009, Mikkel Kessler wins, referee stops the fight against Jasimir Perdomo from Venezuela. That's in Herning, Denmark. Then November the 21st, 2006, Andre Ward wins a technical decision of 11 rounds against Mikkel Kessler in Oakland. Uh, the WA recognised Ward and Kessler fight as for their Super Championship and on the same day sanctioned another fight for their world title as follows on the same day. Yeah. There, but we have one, but hey, hey. So, same day, 21st of November 2009, Dimitri Sartizon wins over six uh, wins in the sixth round referee stops the fight against Stefan Bozic from Croatia that's in Kiel Germany and then July 31st July 31st 2010 Dimitri Sartizon wins and points over 12 rounds against Corin Gevor that was in Hamburg Germany Sartizen stripped of the WBA title then. Um, and then you got August the 26th, 2011. Koli Bauze from Hungary wins over 12 rounds. Referee stops the fight against Stanislav Kashtanov from the Ukraine. That's in Dontiex. Ukraine for the vacant title. And then April 21st, 2012, Karoli Balze from Hungary wins in 12th round. Referee stops the fight against Dimitri Sartizon from Schwering, Germany. WBA also sanctioned the following for the interim title. So, July 30th. 2011, Brian McGee from Ireland wins on points over 12 rounds against Jamie Barboza from thought that was Croatia, but I'm not too sure. Um, Sanjos Costa Rica. Oh no, Costa Rica. Jamie Barboza from Costa Rica. And it was in Sanjos, Costa Rica. Brian McGee beats him, wins on points over 12 rounds. In February 18th, 2012, Brian McGee wins in the fifth round by KO against Rudy Markerson from De uh, the Denmark. That was in Bromby, Denmark. 
October 11, 2012, Stanislav Kashtanov wins on points over 12 rounds against Server Yemelayev. Yemelayev from the Ukraine in Donetsk. Ukraine, bang, made it there. It's the fifth one.